Hey everyone, this is Pete. Welcome back to Warriors Wednesday and our playthrough of Warriors Orochi. As always, we will be continuing with our Samurai Warriors playthrough for the moment. And uh, I need to remind myself where we actually got to last time. Right, so we were having some success with Shao Kao, however you pronounce the name. I meant to check how to pronounce that and completely forgot. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Lucian, uh, we were getting a few levels for him as well, and Akechi is just absolutely devastating anyone, so he's good to have on the team for uh, emergencies. Uh, so we got some growth points. We can probably do that for some weapon fusion to begin with. So, since we're having fun with her... Okay, let's upgrade that one, and we'll fuse it with that one. And that allows us to... Ooh, we've got some interesting bits and bobs there. So we'll increase the attack. Add another slot. We'll add three slots. Fair enough. Uh, um, in that case, we may as well add... No, that's not what I meant to do. Start again. Fuse with that one. Add attack. Add slot. Absorb enemy Musso. That sounds good. Alright, no, don't. No, we can't put it in there until we've actually added the slot, so you can't do that in one uh, thing. That's okay, though. Yes, I do. Um, what else? Anything we can do with. I've forgotten his name already. What's his name? Lucian. Okay, well, we can combine them, add some attack, add a slot, better than nothing. Just make sure that he's using that one there. And a catchy in the meantime, right, he's got this, I think that's his level 3 weapon now, so base attack 39, look at that, that's ridiculous. Alright, so we'll take that as the base. And we'll fuse that. Do we want to do that? Or do we want to add some slots first? We probably want to add some slots first, don't we? So, okay. So, add attack. Add a slot. Can't put either of these in there for the minute. That's fine, though. Yes. And then repeat that process. And we can... Put some more in there. So increase the attack some more. Add some more slots. Increase attack speed. That's very useful. And can we... S yes, you can stack those. Right. Marvellous. Now we're cooking. If you'll pardon the pun. <laughs> Understanding... The fun part of this game now. We've got another flame there. Let's have some more of that. Oh, I've got enough um, points to do that. Never mind. A bit more attack. Can't hurt, given that he's my devastating destroy everything warrior at the minute. Okay, that will do for now. Let's move on to our next mission. So. Okay, we've done all them, I think, have we? Yes, we've done that one. We've done that one. Then we've got Chapter 5, but we haven't unlocked a side mission yet. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess it's this one then. So, Chapter 5, the Battle of Guandu. The enemy's sorcery must be stopped. It may be time to fight fire with fire. Let's see how we get on. Two of the great leaders of the resistance, Shingen Takeda and Kenshin Uesugi, overcame their personal differences to form a military alliance. Believing that this had only served to gather the enemy soldiers for easier disposal, Orochi gleefully sent his main forces in to wage war with them. The two armies clashed at Nagashino. Shingen and Kenshin were brave and cunning leaders, but the numerical disadvantage doomed them to failure from the very start. When Nobunaga heard what was happening, he decided against sending reinforcements. 
instead turning his sights upon the fortress of the Orochi army in Guandu. All right. Right, so our conditions are this one. We have to defeat Daji. And, uh, yeah, pretty much the same as always. Let's jump in. We will attack on three fronts and bury Guan. All right, let's give Address. Lucian a bit of a go to begin with. As he's not had as much love. Oh, he's so slow to attack, though. He's a technical character rather than a speed character, and my god, it really shows when we compare him to uh, some of the other characters that I've been using. In. This little fortress here, we try and capture. Not really capture, but uh, sort of secure this area. Oh, he's putting his own at the moment. And the fact we're in an alliance means that um, he's gradually regenerating health as well, which is useful, and that double attack is definitely helping. Still find myself desperately wishing for that lock on button though. I'm sure that will come in later installments in the series. It, uh, we're just going to live with it for now. Alright. My blades strike again. Oh, such a pious soul. <laughs> Cut our way through here. Actually, we've got a base captain just ahead, haven't we? So we should deal with him. Where is he? He's just past this fort, I think. There he is. The Orochi army has entered into combat with the Takeda Uesugi Alliance at Nagashino. Is that so? Ha, 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 ha. Okay, here come the sorcerers. More meaning is true. Find who is responsible and make them pay. So they're in the middle. So you have decided to surrender your lives, have you? Stand and fight me! I'm guessing it's probably not gonna be that simple to get over there then. Ooh. Taking a beating. Let's clear out this area for the minute. Ooh. Maybe it's time for a catch here already. Very surrounded. That's not going all that well. That is some nice damage he's doing now. Oh, everyone taking a bit of beating. Not what we want. 
Looks like these guys are making life tough for Orochi. All right, let's now clear out of it for a bit. Out, I, guess. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but I'm on your side, buddy. Praise be your good deed. Will not go unnoticed by the heavens. I'm feeling ready for a serious scrap. The Takeda Uesugi Alliance is holding Oh no. <sighs> that was going to happen. That was not going well from the beginning. Right. Let's try that again. A little bit less pride this time. Let's just just hack our way through. Two of the great leaders of the reason. We will attack on three fronts and bury Guan Yu. Advance. Nagahide. Right. Let's try and clear out this area straight away. Yes, my lord. You can count on me. Here I go. I shall show no mercy. We can stop blocking that abuse well. Ocean is a technical character, so I really need to be using more of his um, sort of charge attacks rather than just hacking and slashing with his uh, regular one. Do that double attack thing I found first time around. That'd be lovely right now. I'm really interested to see how this series develops over time. I saw a bit of footage of uh, Mori Zorochi 4 when I was uh, editing the uh, podcast this weekend. And that's looking like a lot of fun. You have earned my praise, it's looking like it's got a, some of those quality of life features that I'm craving in this one, like the, the lock-on button and that kind of thing. But uh, other than that, it's looking uh, fairly true to the Warriors formula. Otherwise, he's not trying to go the Dynasty Warriors 9 route. Which I'm actually still curious to, um, to try at some point. I know not, not a lot of people liked it very much and they complain about its technical flaws and so on but I've never really been one to be too concerned about that sort of thing and the actual concept of Dynasty Warriors 9 sounded really interesting so I'm actually keen to give it a try for myself at some point but uh, maybe when the prices come down a bit or there's a bit less uh, well not when there's a bit less DLC but when maybe when there's a complete edition or something like that Uesugi Alliance at Nagashino. Is that so? My blade is yours. Uh, 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 know your place. Uh, know your place. Uh, know your place. Uh, 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 oh, knock that uh, shit off. So, you have decided to surrender your lives, have you? Know your place. I'd say this counts as an Akechi emergency. Long live the sword that hits eight times. No, nope. you stop that. You were wrong to oppose me. Simply magnificent. I was wondering if I'm leaving myself open to uh, the usual problem, which is getting too distracted by taking down officers when I should be 
going after objectives. Nice. Right, let's move on. Let's go find us a sorcerer. Oh, let's uh, you have capture a base praise, before we do that. Warrior. Looks like these guys are making life tough for Orochi. Now's my chance to help them out, I guess. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but I'm on your side, buddy. Don't you hide outside the boundaries of the map, you. I'll get you. There you go. There. Uh, ouch. Alright, that's more like it. Okay, proceed. The Takeda Uesugi Alliance is holding its own. Excellent. So it looks like we got another officer up ahead, maybe, if I'm reading that map correctly. Do you think you yeah, can there stop we are. me? Mid-air collision. Like it. Stand and fight, block boy. Smash! Ooh, double attack. Yes, please. Nope. Not an invitation to hit me. Alright, my friend helped out for once. Phantom soldiers. There's this Hyrule Warriors. Yeah. Ow. Not bad at all. Ah, they're the ghosts. Our swords go Okay, so we can't get straight to the uh a simple trick in the light. Ignore Ghosts! And take down the puppet master. I see it. I see it. This wickedness originates in Thymar Castle. I shall rain down divine punishment upon this evil practitioner of the devil's work. Oh, the gates have opened. That's good. Alright, so hopefully we should be able to go and fight a sorcerer now. Just sneak around there. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Bring bad news. Our allies are struggling at Nagashino. Is that so? Let her recharge a bit. It seems violent. Oh, ow. Well. Whoa, right into that, didn't there I? Something dark and disturbing. Stop it. Stop it. And when that dark encompasses you, you shall see Bloody it. sorcerers. Here's where they're giant maracas. Giant painful freezing maracas. Oh no, 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 no. Bollocks. <sighs> well, we know what to expect now at least. Onward. Yes, yes, yes. We will attack on three fronts. My very Advance. Right. Get right in there. Nagahide, I am relying on you to keep our main camp safe. 
Yes, my lord. You can count on me. Yes. Okay. There. I shall show no mercy. Oh, no. How awful. Our main force is gone, and I'm all alone. And if one do fall, it could be all over. This is the perfect opportunity to show off one or two tricks. Feeling like I'm getting to a point where I might not be able to get away with uh, <laughs> not being very good at blocking for much longer. I won't be denied right, time. you are dealt with. You were wrong to oppose me. Slice, chop, slice, hack. Deal with this gate as before. Know your place. Know your place. Know your place. Stand and fight me. I'm feeling ready for a serious scrap. Know your place. Bring it on, Yan Poo. I could make a childish joke, but I won't at the moment. Know your place. Know your place. I'm not ruling it out. Okay. One of them down. There's the other officer. There you are. Big man. Eat flying little girl. Right, let's deal with this guy before we go and uh, get frozen by sorcerers. As always, we don't want to get surrounded by too many officers at once, because that is a surefire way to... Uh, well, you've already seen what's happened twice already. It appears you are of some I shall endeavour not to disappoint further. I won't be denied next time. You were wrong to oppose me. All right, bring it on. It seems violence. None of your sorcery bullshit. There is something dark in serving And when that dark encompasses you, you shall be no more. Uh, no, that is that is sorcery bullshit. That is most definitely sorcery bullshit. Standing in the middle of a group of enemies is unwise. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Separate it from the rest of the group if we can. Oh, a nice clean hit with that. Always satisfying when that happens. Oh, and a lovely, lovely pot roast. So you have decided to surrender your lives, have you? Sorcerer by himself actually isn't very strong, so. We dealt with him. Just need to try not to die now. Uh, 
Every time I say the words try not to die, it reminds me of uh, a very early iOS game called Tilt to Live, which is an absolutely brilliant game. Very good use of um, motion controls. Uh, a lot of people can... No, stop it. Oh, fuck. This is what I get for telling anecdotes while I'm fighting again. Anyway, um, while we load, Tilt to Live was um, a very early uh, mobile game. It was a sort of score attack arcade type game. A lot of people compared it to Geometry Wars, but it was actually rather different. You um, you tilted your phone around to move this, uh, this little arrow around on the board. And... Uh, Various things you did would allow you to, excuse me, would allow you to trigger explosions. We will attack on a bit like the ones in uh, Missile Command, so they sort of chain react with one another. And uh, the details of the game is sort of beside the point, really. But the uh, the reason I always think of that when uh, whenever I say the words "try not to die" is that uh, my friend Woody, for the longest time, was uh, absolutely convinced that uh, that game was called "Try Not to Die." Which is a great name for it, really, because that's essentially what you're doing for the whole time you're playing it. But, uh, yeah, it always always brings a smile to my face whenever I say it. Right, we're going to concentrate now. You are dealt to it. You were wrong to oppose me. Oh, such a pious soul. Let's see now. How should I do this? How about this? Know your place. Know your Witness place. the true power of belief. More meaning. All right, continuing. Find who is responsible them pay. Know your place. You want to fight? Then fight me. Let's try and keep some range, really. That might help. And me thinking to uh, any of the strategies, uh, if you can call them that, that I, I've been learning by playing the uh, the Capcom beat 'em up bundle on Switch recently. It's making me think of um, King of Dragons, which is a beat-em-up that is about keeping your distance, unusually. So in that game, you've got a lot of characters who make use of projectiles, so rather than getting right up in uh, enemies' faces, you actually want to try and create some space to make sure you don't get surrounded. A lot like in this, actually, but in 2D. And so we've got some ranged attacks in this. So if we uh, try and use a similar strategy here, we're trying to keep our distance at least a little bit, use that sort of sword beam thing that Akechi's got there, that will probably serve us quite well. Alright, are those gates open yet? I think we need to beat him first, don't we? So, sword beam to the face. Sword beam to the face. No, oh, you block that sword beam to your face. Not sure I can do that. Hack and slash until you die. Alright, gates please. More Mitsuhide, cut them all down. Looks like these guys are making life tough for Orochi. Now's my chance to help them out, I guess. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but I'm on your side, buddy. Right, let's just take our time. Deal with the annoying bastards. And try not to get surrounded. It seems violence cannot be avoided. 
very well. Good use of those ranged attacks. And keep things that cause pain and suffering at a distance. Oh, you are wise to my plan, are you, Maraca lady? Stop it. Stop it. Oh! This is going disastrously. I do apologise for anyone who is uh, sitting through this whole thing. Right, this time. And I have too much pride to drop it down to easy, so... You're going to have to deal with it, I'm afraid, dear watcher. We will attack on three fronts and bury Guan Du. Advance. Still, at least we're getting this beginning bit out of the way more quickly each time. I am relying on you. Yes, my You can count on me. Know your place. Know your place. I shall show no mercy. Oh no, how awful! Our main force is gone, and I'm all alone! And if one do falls, it could be all over! Alright, bye bye. Next! I won't be denied next time! You were wrong to oppose me. Brilliant! Okay. And next. I shall show no mercy. Know your place. Now it's okay. Know your place. So you have decided to surrender your lives, have you? Know your place. I won't be denied. All right. You were wrong to oppose me. Moving on. Oh, such a pious soul. I'm not sure if this level's actually running slower. Do you think you can stop me? Or if I've just been spoiled by playing 2D beat em ups lately, but uh I don't know, this is feeling oddly sluggish, from what I remember. I mean it has been a little while since I last played this, but uh I don't know. In theory, you'd think that would give me more time to respond to things, but in practice that's not really working, is it, as we've seen. Witness the true power of belief. More means true. Find who's responsible and make them pay. I won't lose a second. You can tell how much faster we're doing this now by uh, the fact we're here before they even uh, corrupted our allies. The Orochi army has entered into combat. Open the gates, if you please. Sugi Alliance at Nagashino. Is that so? Looks there like we these go. guys are making life tough for Orochi. Right. Now's my chance to help them out, I guess. Come here. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but I'm on your know side, your buddy. Know your place. Right, I'm just gonna switch him out for a sec, just to recover some life and such like. I'm trying to get my ass kicked. Too much. Maybe if we try and lure her out of here a bit. Violence cannot be avoided. Very well. A bit more open space here. You're not coming with me? No. How dare you be smart.
What I really need is a situation like I had with Lubu last time, where he just gets caught on a bit of scenery, and I uh, just uh, pummel him up my laser then. But that's that's not happening this time around, unfortunately. All right, Akechi's nearly recovered. So let's just thin the herd a little bit. Mister, you run away. Right. My blade is yours. You archers are annoying. There is something dark in this so I stab you. And, when that dark and then I stab your sorcerer friends. The Takadao Isuki Alliance is holding its own. Excellent. And I stab your lady friend. I stab everyone, and then I get stabbed somewhat. We too must devote ourselves to our faith. Right, that was super effective. So let's just there we go. That's much better. Right. And actually make some progress now. Is done. So, where are we going next? Are we just continuing down the map? Go for my precious creations. Uh oh. Ah, there, the ghosts. The swords go straight through. Okay, we've dealt with this before. A simple trick of the light. Ignore them and take down the puppet master. Ah, look know out, place. Here I come. Know your place. Ah, know your place. I know your place. This wickedness ah, originates in fine ah, art. That's your place. I shall rain ah, down divine place. punishment ah, upon ah, this ah, evil ah, practitioner ah, of the devil's ah, work. Ah, 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 Get off. Right. You were wrong to oppose me. Alright, let's switch out for a bit. Oh, wrong button. Clear up some trash. Our allies are struggling at Nagashino. Is that so? Trash means lovely, lovely experience. I will go down fighting. Right. What else is going on around here? Can't go that way. Uh, that way. Can't go through this gate. All right. We've got a base down here. Always good to cut off their supply lines. Okay. Now I think we want to try and head towards the sort of east side because I believe that's where the um, the guy from Orochi's army is hiding and summoning all those ghosts. So let's go and investigate in that direction. Doesn't seem too bad after we got over that initial roadblock, so uh, let's see what's going on over here. Yellow belly. I will slowly show the light. Oh you will, will you? Not if I hit you in the face with fans first. 
Chop. Chop. Oh. Switch. Yeah, those guys maybe are a bit more dangerous than I uh, gave them credit for. Given that you can't hit them, but they can they can surround you and and do that. Let's get out of here. Okay. Oh, such a pious soul. I thought he was supposed to be dropping magic on uh, the enemies. That'd be really helpful about now. What with all the ghosts? Well, let me guess. You're gonna leave it all up to me. Well, he said they're in a castle, and that structure in the southeast corner does look rather like a castle of some description. So, that seems like a good place to go and investigate. Grunt, you're not allowed to block. Just because you've got a nameplate. Getting ideas above your station. By my castle, yeah, that is the, uh, the place we're supposed to be going. It appears you are of some to me. Rely on me. My blades. Look out! Here I come! Okay, Hognose is the one we need to get rid of. So he's got a couple of friends that we're going to have to deal with first, I think. Right. This is where we need to be very careful. Several officers on the go at once. Alright, one down. You were wrong to oppose me. More Mitsuhide, cut them all down. Know your place. Know your place. Where's he gone? Come here. Kick. I'm not sure pious is the word I use, but... Right, he's got a base captain in there, so let's see if we can sneak around him and deal with that first. Oh, he just seems to be ignoring me completely. Oh no, he's coming for me. Alright. Chop! Alright, none of your stupid arrows. Double attack, yes, please. I need help now. I want to say something offensive about his name, but I honestly can't think of anything. I'm bad at thinking of jokes on the spot. 
I'm better thinking of jokes generally. This is why I'm grateful for each and every one of you who sits and watches this channel. Please subscribe. Hey, I'm a mate, sorcerer. Okay, so that deals with the ghost problem. Foolish games. This is simply delaying the inevitable. Right. So I guess we're going for that impenetrable looking fortress down in the south. Sure would be nice if some people came and helped me, but you know. One versus a thousand and all that. It appears you are of some. And to switch. All of Roshi's demons look the same. Is that racist? Probably. I don't care. I think it's okay to be racist against demons. I already am resisting. Come back later, later Craig. Yeah. You have earned my praise, warrior. Thanks, Nobunaga. You really don't want to lose. You no, no, I wouldn't. Because if you don't, then I might just have to hit you with the catapults. <sighs> oh dear. Expressionless early uh, Xbox 360 face. Take out this base down here. Hello. Alright. Okay, you got a defense captain here. Oh, my friends are advancing finally. Well, bloody time. I'm doing all of the work in this battle. Right. That's a gate. That sure is a gate. Let's enjoy some jolly cooperation. Jolly cooperation means regenerating health, remember? Which is always nice. Where are you going? I'm following you now. You're in the lead. You're the protagonist now. You can take care of everything. You know what, I think that was actually the, the last time I played a Call of Duty game. The reason I swore off them forever was for that reason. The idea of you being the playable character but not getting to do any of the interesting stuff. So it was Modern Warfare 3, I think. 
it was uh, sort of big news at the time. I played it through and I described it as one of the most insulting games I'd ever played. Just because for so much of the experience you're watching someone in front of you opening all the doors, pressing all the switches, doing all the interesting stuff and then you just shoot all the men. You know, that can have its appeal sometimes, but it just... When I think back to some of the classic first-person shooters there, that real feeling of you being a hero, a one-man army. I guess that's not really the point of Call of Duty, is it? The whole point of, well, Call of Duty campaigns, anyway. It's supposed to sort of reflect warfare. I don't know. Like I say, I, I swore off the series at that point. And I'm quite happy to let the fans have it. Because there's lots of things I can play instead. Like this. Because this is not at all damage stupid. As you well know. I don't have much more than to give. I've always loved Warrior's particular blend of dumb and stupid, though. I played most of the previous Warriors games when they came out on PS2. It was only really once we sort of got into the 360 era that I kind of fell off them a bit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now, as I've said a couple of previous times in this series, the um, my past experience with the series is really just with um, Dynasty Warriors. So I'd never played the Samurai Warriors games, I'd never played Warriors Orochi. The whole reason I'm doing this series here is because out of all the non-Dynasty Warriors series, Warriors Orochi is the one that sounded most interesting to me. Just because it's a, an interesting, fantastic concept. And an excuse to sort of do a a best of warriors sort of situation. So you're quite excited to get on to the um, to the later ones because, as well as having just the <laughs> right Mingda, you just you just referee that little match there. Um, the later ones, as well as just having the Dynasty and Samurai Warriors characters in there. There's all the interesting guest characters and stuff as well. So sort of appearances of characters from things like Dead or Alive, Ninja Gaiden, and even the Atelier series, I believe. And then, of course, that's taken to a whole new level with Warriors All-Stars that I have on my shelf waiting to cover at some point in the... probably in the dim and distant future at this point, but... Uh, we'll see how we get on. The one thing with this version of Orochi is that there's um, there's actually not a lot of side content besides the um, the main story modes. I mean, the story modes are pretty substantial in their own right, just because there's so many of them. But um, it's not like the later Orochi games where you've got like that gauntlet mode and the the dungeons and the specific scenarios that have been designed to play outside of the story mode. So once we make it through the story in this, which is still going to take quite some time, as I say, uh, then we can move right on to one of the later games and see how it develops. But I'm quite happy to make this a long-term project. The Warriors series is one that I've wanted to check out in more detail for quite some time, and so as a a series of playthroughs like this is a well, it's a good way for me to do it anyway. Oh, made it. You were wrong to oppose me. That was an effort and a half, but we did it. We got there in the end. Shingen, Kenshi, know that I am grateful.
Okay. So from next time, we will see where the story and all the side missions go from here. Let's just see this cutscene. Um, I think we've only got like maybe two or three more missions in the Samurai Warriors scenario left to go. It's almost as if they sacrifice themselves to ensure our victory. Perhaps, perhaps Lord Nobunaga foresaw this, and that's why he went straight to Guandu. If I had gone to Nagashino, the enemy would simply have overrun Guandu instead. Lovely, lovely. Oh, it's a better weapon to him. Oh, another... Oh, that's nice. Pre-upgraded. Oh, yes. Very nice. Okay, now we got the five side mission as well. Okay, so we will have a look at which one of those is going to be more practical to do next time around. And uh, continue from there. And we've got an achievement, which is nice. So I've now got 20 available officers, 20 playable characters, which is cool. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. Be sure to check out moegamer.net for new articles on Japanese and Japanese-inspired video games new and old every weekday. Every month, Moegamer features an in-depth exploration of an individual game or series as its cover game, so be sure to check the archives to see if your favourite has had a deep dive yet. If you'd like to support the site directly, please consider becoming a patron or buying me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.